Greetings everybody from the great state of Texas. So, Texas school district fires first grade teacher who joked about killing sister's white boyfriend and hiding the body. This is a first grade teacher? What? Well, listen, I'm, I'm kind of shocked, right? But there's racism on both sides. There's white racism and black racism. And I, I think we've gotten to the point where this woman who's teaching first grade children believes that black racism is okay. And I think because I think we've been fostering a lot of that nowadays, like for, and, and people may, may, may disagree with it, but I, let me give you my reasons why. I think, I think we as a society are accepting of black racism, but not accepting of white racism. As a black man, I can call a white person any racial slur I want with impunity, right? With impunity. If a white person was to call me or even suggestively call me a racial slur, they can lose their job, their career, everything, right? Think about it, think about it. There are words that I can say that white people can't say. Like the N word, I can say it all day. I can say it on Twitter. I can say N word, N word, N word, N word, N word. I can go inside. I can go inside a white church and say, N I love all you N words. I'll be okay. Let a white person say the N word. Problems, problems, major problems, right? You may lose your job. So that's what I'm talking about. Essentially, black racism is accepted, but I think it's accepted to a point. And I think this teacher may have crossed that boundary to say, I'm going to kill white people. Now you're now we're at another level now. Now we're at another level. All right. All right. We accept your We accepted your racism enough to hire you, but we can't accept your racism. When you're talking about killing white people. It's, it's, it's a little you're going crazy now. So let's see what's going on in this Texas school district. A Texas school district says it fired a self-identified black supremacist. So you got white supremacists and black supremacists. Teacher accused of posting anti-white posts, which included a joke about violence. Prior to the firing, the teacher reportedly bragged about how she would never be terminated because you know, that privilege, and said some of the administration laughed at her post. So there was even more there were people in the school who thought this was funny. Those people should be fired too. Why shouldn't I hate white people? Former Thompson Elementary School first grade teacher, Danielle Allen 29, posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. So it's X now, X. Allen used X for a burner account where she went under the pseudonym, Car, was it Claire Kyle? The account was researched by ex-user Mary King and Haley Kington. Mesquite Independent School District on Tuesday called the post racist. No. Adding the teacher would not be eligible for rehire. I think that's the least you can do. I think that's the least you can do. But she's already teaching your first graders. Remember, this teacher is teaching first graders. Their hiring practices must suck. The highly offensive statements posted to her ex account do not reflect the values and standards of, no, of, co of course they don't. And the school district condemns them in the strongest terms, yada, 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 they gotta say that. So this is her, she's looking good. I like how they have the, the white students with their hands raised to the black supremacists because I, you know, there, there probably are, I'm assuming in their hiring process, there are probably checks for white racists, right? Is this person a racist? Is this person a racist? But black racist is like, eh, she's, she says she, you know, only likes black people. Black people are the best, you know, black. So, you know, that's okay. She says white people are bad. Ah, oh, we accept that. If a white person was to say it, oh, mm, can't, I can't work here. You, your, your race, you, you're not, not racist enough. But I think this is our accepting of racism from one side. And that's why I think racism is just wrong altogether. No matter, you know, well, I, I don't think you can justify it in this way. And I think that's the problem. I think when you try to allow one side to demean and degrade another side, it's inherently gonna come out to be like this, where you have someone like this teaching your children and you know she's got white kids in that class. They're being taught by a race. Just imagine if they, if you, if you had a a, a, black, a white supremacist teaching black students, which is probably, which probably which probably happening. But let's say you had that open an openly white supremacist. Do you think they're treating all those kids the same? However, Alan had a different perspective of her initial response from the administration a day prior. Okay, y'all have found my job. Alan posted on X. They told me to delete the post, but my job is safe since I didn't directly wish to harm all white people. Just, just some, not all white people. So she thought she was safe because she didn't want to harm 
all white people. They laughed and told me, watch what you say and I'll be good. <laughs> somebody told her that she said, somebody told her, somebody in school saw that post when she said she wants to kill this white, kill white, not all white people, but some white people, apparently. And told her, oh, don't worry, since you didn't want to kill all white people, you're going to be good. You, we got to find who the hell told her she'd be good. That would be my next question. Who told you that? Who saw this post and told you that? Because they got to go too. Just talk to the school board and my job is safe. I told them it was a joke and they know I'm not racist, so have fun. So, <laughs> so she's got the school board fooled too. So she calls herself a black supremacist. Jokes about killing white people. And the school board is okay with that? Okay. The teacher recorded a video of herself walking through the halls of what appears to be the elementary school saying, Twitter thinks they can take my job from me, call me every name under the sun, but you all will never call me unemployed. So she was both, she was, she was stunting, huh? She was like, yeah. I'm good. What? F the haters. I'm not going to lose my job. Now she's fired. Alan had originally posted a text exchange in which she joked about planning to murder her sister's white boyfriend. So her sister got a white boyfriend. She was like, she expressed concern that the boyfriend looked like a Trump supporter. Damn. Here are some of her posts. Let's see what she was posting on X. I wouldn't have given a blank if a white person had what my bio says, because we already know y'all are evil. So it's right on brand. Oh, again, all white people are evil, huh? And there are definitely white pages on here with my bio and worse. So now think about this even for Twitter. This kind of, this kind of, this kind of makes me think about Twitter. If someone, usually if someone puts white supremacists on your Twitter bio, you're gone, bam. Black supremacists, she's still up there. Matter of fact, she would be up there now. You see what I'm talking about? It's okay for one side to be racist, but not okay for the other side to be racist. We should ban all racism. Why is that such a hard concept? Why shouldn't I hate white people? Because it's racist. Why should I show y'all any love at all? And big historic moment where white people did anything for black people out of the kindness of their heart. Name Name a big historic moment where white people did anything for black people out of the kindness of their heart. The Civil Freaking War! <laughs> Ending slavery! The Civil Rights Movement, right? It's a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of people, a lot of white people died freeing black people. I think, I think sometimes history forgets that, right? The war to end slavery wasn't fought between black and white people. It was fought between white people and white people over the rights of blacks. And this is a teacher who doesn't know this. A white man, a good dude, you smoking crack. Wow. And this is it. Today's the first day of school. Can't wait to see all my new students. <laughs> I don't know, if she's, is she talking about the white ones too? Like I'm baffled, AF, you know what that means. Seeing a white man in my house, I can't believe it. This is supposed to be a black person only house. I'm so mad right now, Alan said. Well, oh, she's got some serious, she's got some serious problems with you, with you white people. She just hates you guys. Hates them, hates them, hates them. Can't believe sis has this cave dweller in my freaking house. Oh my God, listen, sister's not racist. Oh my God, I'm trying to stay calm. She knows I'm a racist. And the school board says she's not racist. She knows I'm a racist. <laughs> Come and kill him for me. I promise I'll help you hide the body. Bring all four of your firearms. My sis letting all of European take turns on her. The disappointment I feel right now. Our parents raised us better than this. So, y'all already know why I'm having a bad day? My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house, on this land. I just wanna let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to f this relationship up. And it's gonna be so fun and so satisfying to watch. The thumbnail image for the burner account was the same that appeared on her Facebook exchange. Alan didn't respond for comment. I don't think she would respond for comment. What's she gonna say? 
I'm a racist, I hate white people. The teacher not only bragged about being a racist against white people, but also about being homophobic. Oh, she hates gay people too. So now for all you woke, my woke watchers who thought, oh, you know, it was okay, you know, blah, 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 blah. I understand her plight. Now she says something about gays, she's gotta go. She's gotta go. That's super gay incoming message said. This is why I love you. Thank you for being homophobic like I am. You're my soulmate. Yo, this teacher was, yo, you talking about crazy. This woman was like sick with it. She was like straight up like, yo, I'm a racist and you gotta just deal with it. So what do you think? What do you think? Obviously the school board make the right decision, right? That's not even a question. I'm not gonna ask you a record question like that. What do you, do you think the school board made the right decision? No, they made the right decision. Number one, I'm gonna find out who the hell she was talking to in the school who said that, you know, it's okay for you to say all this. Who saw those posts and said, it's okay for you to come to work the next day. Whoever said that, they need to go too. That, that, it should be their last day too. Like, you know, hey guy, it's your last day. You saw, did you see what she's writing? But let me know. What do you think? Do you think black racism is something that could be tolerated while right racism should be stamped out? Or you're someone like me? Racism is racism. And no matter who you are or what your skin color is, if you're racist, you shouldn't be teaching children. Full stop. My name is Ate the Lawyer. I'm out of here. Peace.